The game winning touchdown for Michigan State early in the fourth quarter. Connor Cook to Tony Lippett to put the Spartans up by seven. They hang on to win the 100th Rose Bowl by the final of 24 to 20. 332 passing yards for Connor Cook in this game. He joins us now. Connor, that is the most passing yards ever for a Big Ten quarterback in a Rose Bowl win. Wow. What does that mean to you? Um, I didn't know that, but um, <laughs> kind of lost for words. You know, to go from the Big Ten championship game to here, um, I didn't think anything could feel better than beating Ohio State and, and winning the Big Ten to go here. But it's just I, I'm, I'm experiencing all these different emotions, and the main thing that I just keep thinking about is just the seniors, you know. Um, such a great class. They, they've laid the grounds for everyone. Um, they just they, they work so hard, and they set an example on and off the field for everyone, including me. But um, I'm just so glad that, that I could, you know, help win the 100th Rose Bowl and to send out the seniors um, on a high note. Hey, Connor, I want to take you back to media day when we had you on the set and we we're interviewing you. And before you got off the set, Howard asked you, are you ready? And you stopped dead and looked at him and said, I'm more than ready. Talk about that response. Um, you know, we've had, I mean, we've had like a month to prepare for the game. So I've watched so much film. Um, so really, I was just ready to, when we first got here in LA, I was ready to play the game, you know? <laughs> um, the whole week being here, you just, you know, thinking about the game, thinking about going out there for the first time. I know we were here yesterday, couldn't even see the stadium, didn't, didn't even see the field until this morning uh, when we were here. But um, really just, I was, I was ready to play as soon as we got here and I was just chomping at the bit. So when I heard him say, are you ready? I was like, <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he really wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> keep it clean. Got to keep it clean. Connor, a couple questions. One, how did dance go in the locker room? The dance was excellent. We had Rich Homie Quan in there. Okay. Um, Who's in the middle? Got, got a picture with him, um, and we were feeling some type of way. <laughs> hey, what was Coach D'Antonio's message to the team? Um, uh, he, he just talked about completion, you know, uh, stuff, that, stuff that the seniors have started, and then we finished for them. Um, really just for how far we've come since the beginning of the year to now, um, it's been a roller coaster ride, and we've had some up, some ups and downs in a little bit. But you know, we've just all we've stuck to the program. Um, we're just everyone works so hard, and, and, and they trust in themselves, and they trust others. And our team is so tight, and the chemistry is so amazing. Um, so really, just he talked about how far we've come, and just how proud he is of all of us. You had some great pass plays today. Rever mentioned you broke the record. How, how'd you pick the defense apart? How'd that all come about? Um, I really don't know. I think we just threw the ball so many times. I was like, are we ever going to hand off to Jeremy Langford? <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I think Coach Coach Warner put me in good situations, um, good passing plays for their defense. Uh, they, they were in a lot of man coverage a little bit, uh, two man, and they sunk, sunk into cover two, opening up the middle of the field a lot for us. So um, that's where we had a little bit of our success. Connor, you throw the pick, but you bounced back really quickly from that. What was the message on the sidelines once you came there? Um, Coach, she just asked me, he's like, hey, how you doing? You all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> gave, gave him a uh, gave him a little uh, fist pump. And then after that, you know, you have to be resilient as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. and you can't focus on, um, you know, what happened in the past. Um, you can't focus on previous plays. Um, and you just have to just, you know, put your foot in the ground, uh, push forward, and just focus on the now. And I think that's what I've done all year. What's the message of this win for Michigan State? Um, that we just have um, – uh, you know, a, a national, we, we have a team that can compete at the national level year after year. Um, and I think we had, obviously, we had a lot of the same players we had last year. We just didn't know how to finish. I know Coach D always mentioned that, um, you know, we just ran out of time at the end of the game. Um, so really, I think Coach D recruits the right guys. Uh, we have the right coaches. You know, we know how to work hard. And I think the message is that just why can't we do this every single year? You know, Coach D recruits the right players, and we're just we're a team that can compete at the, on the national level year after year. Well, you certainly finished this year a team that was seven and six a year ago, three and five in the Big Ten. They win 13 games and win the Rose Bowl. Connor Cook, congratulations on a fabulous outing. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for having me.